Why do some people appear to effortlessly attract money while others appear to repel it? Do the wealthy know something that the rest of us do not? What is their trick? If you're like most people, you probably want to be financially independent at some point in your life. However, the path to wealth can appear elusive. So, like a hamster on a wheel, you keep going to work, paying your bills, and living paycheck to paycheck. Does this sound familiar? What if I told you that this doesn't have to be the case? What if I told you that you can start attracting more money into your life right now? And what if I told you that you can achieve financial success in just seven easy steps? Do you think I'm insane or even a little naive? That's fine. I don't blame you. What I'm proposing seems a little out there. For the time being, all I ask is that you keep an open mind and keep watching. 1. Believe you are worthy of happiness. Part of attracting wealth is believing you are deserving of happiness. I didn't say you have a right to happiness. The key word is deserving. The secret to creating happiness begins with our self-image, which can be strengthened in large part through our morning ritual. None of the following steps can be taken until you truly believe you are deserving of happiness. To achieve this, you must let go of the guilt and shame associated with the past. To point focus on what you have right now, many people fall into the trap of ruminating on what they lack or have lost. This unproductive way of thinking starts a downward spiral of negativity, which repels the positive forces of happiness. Instead, through the gift of gratitude, focus on all that you do have. We only have this one moment. Yesterday has passed. Concentrate on the present moment and learn from mindfulness teachers. 3.10 The Cycle of Learned Helplessness To continue engaging in learned helplessness is to remain entangled in the gravitational pull of poverty. When your emotional and karmic space is occupied by the words I can't, you cannot attract wealth or other positive things into your life. Stop making excuses for what you can't do and start saying I can. In other words, I am capable of attracting wealth because I am deserving of happiness. 4. Point, get rid of jealousies. Jealousy for another person's worldly possessions indicates that you are preoccupied with an illusion. Just because someone drives an expensive car does not imply that they are wealthy or have a lot of money. Jealousy is a liar, projecting a false narrative that is almost never based on reality. Allow your jealousies to go and make room for joy. Remove any negative energy. Accept the simple things in life and you will find peace. 5. Point, respect the power of money. Money is a byproduct of your efforts and labor. You disrespect yourself when you disrespect money. Taking care of money entails keeping it organized. It entails keeping track of it on a regular basis. It entails acknowledging that money has both restorative and destructive powers and that it should not be handled lightly. Money, when properly managed, has the potential to grow and provide for you for many years to come. When you are disrespected, it deteriorates and has a negative impact on your future. Finally, respecting money means not using it to boost one's self-esteem through unnecessary spending. Six point study wealth. To attract wealth into your life, you must go beyond wishful thinking. It entails making a conscious decision to learn everything you can about money and how wealth is amassed. Investigate the practices, beliefs, and habits of enlightened individuals who have created and attracted wealth. These are your professors. Recognize that true wealth does not consist of flashy jewelry, expensive cars, or designer clothing. In fact, the vast majority of millionaires are meticulous budgeters who have amassed their wealth over time. 7. Point, give money away. This final point is about money's spiritual and karmic power. We help to replenish the human spirit when we give money to those who are less fortunate. If you hoard money, it will desert you. Instead, use your empathic abilities to figure out who is in need and how you can assist them. 
offering to pay for groceries in the checkout line for a struggling family in front of you is one example. It could also mean donating your time to your favorite charity, which is a form of money. When you give to others out of genuine love and compassion, you create more happiness, which is the precursor to wealth. It's no coincidence that you've decided to watch this video. You can absolutely attract wealth into your life right now by following the seven steps outlined in this video. Change is a time-consuming process. This is true for most things, including a shift in our attitude toward money. It is also true when we work on ourselves, whether it is to understand our dreams or to engage in physical activity to combat depression. Finally, Keep in mind that most financially stable people achieve their position through hard work and an honest, deep abiding belief in themselves. Stay tuned for more goodbye.